Porsche Boxster S. Here it is, and doesn't it look proud? Let's just recap its outings on Top Gear to date. On our track, it monstered the Merck SLK 350 by four whole seconds. So then we stepped things up a notch by pitting it against the SLK 55 AMG in the industry standard getaway from the Army Snipers test. And guess what? The cheaper, less powerful Porsche still won. to drive one of these things for five minutes to understand just why it's so good. Everything about it is precise and accurate. It's a laser surgery kind of engineering. It's just, it's just up there. And we were starting to wonder, was there anything out there that could wipe that smug smile off its face? Well, if anyone can, it's the BMW M Division. They are the SAS of BM's engineers. And this is their latest creation, the Z4M. It's a car dripping with menace. There are nearly as many M badges as there are exhausts. At the front, the air intakes are big and fierce and under the new bulges on the bonnet, you'll find a 3.2-litre straight six from the M3 CSL. That gives the Z4M 338 brake horsepower, which is 63 more than the Boxster. to 60 in five seconds. Mine, I think. Now, the Z4 costs £43,000, which is four grand more than the Boxster S. But as we've demonstrated, it does have more power. And as we can see, it's also much better looking. Now, to make a great car, you can't allow compromise. And at BMW, the M division do as they please. So in this car, they've thrown out the fancy electronic power steering for a more old-fashioned system that they prefer. They've also got rid of those ridiculous run-flat tyres, and they've not messed about with any fancy gearboxes either. They've fitted it with a proper old-fashioned manual. That is a set of confident decisions. So naturally, you'd be forgiven for approaching any corner with a similar amount of confidence. Whoa! Oh, understeer! Bloody hell! I was not expecting that. The Z4M is, in fact, a bit of a handful. Nothing like old smarty pants here. Same corner, same me, just behind a different wheel. In we go. No problem. Suddenly I'm transformed. Back from driving dog to driving god. At first, I thought the M people had come up with a turkey. But sometimes the fault isn't with the car. You see, what I've been doing is driving it like the Boxster, like a precision tool. What you really need to do is grab it by the scruff of the neck and treat it like the Larry beast that it is. What you've got to do is chuck it in. It's a monster. Keep the power on, let the back slide. Trust it'll come back. And eventually... We're all right. It's a madman. And whereas the Boxster flatters your ego, this thrills you in the most primeval way. You see, all the recent M cars, the M5, the M6, They've all been crammed full of technology. They've had amazing gearboxes with 11 settings. And I got into this car expecting more of the same. But for this, what the M people have done is serve up 
Fred Flintstone's car. If I may take a moment. This is a Gordon Ramsay recipe. It is monkfish wrapped in Grand Reserve Parma ham on a bed of Savoy cabbage and vegetables in a cream reduction. This is the Porsche Boxster, the very best of ingredients and precision preparation coming together to create one harmonious whole. Then we come to the BMW. This is the red Naga chili. On the chili Richter scale, it measures at just under one million heat units. You can't handle this with bare skin, you have to wear gloves. You don't chop it up and put it in your food, you just touch it against the ingredients and that's enough. This is your BMW Z4M. The Z4M really is the hot chilli. The Boxster will never sound as good nor thrill half as much. It absolutely steals your heart, which is why it's the one I'd drive home if I could see. <laughs>